Watch you guys going to have a software review video. In this one we're going to be looking at one click installer free. They've got two flavors here. You've got a free version and a paid version. They've kindly sent me over the uh, paid version here. Now if you do work in a professional industry like a PC repair or something like that, then the paid version is probably the way to go. There is some limitations and restrictions on the free version. But if you've got the paid version, you can see here it's going to allow you to installation of Windows updates, driver updates. Now this is going to be all your audio, graphics, um, LAN drivers and stuff like that as well. A recommended installation order, software configuration, access password and also priority customer support if you've got the paid version. Okay. Now it also installs three times faster than the average way of installing a program. And it also has a toolbar blocker, which means if you're installing some freeware software, sometimes they get bundled with uh, adware, i.e. Tool uh, toolbars and stuff like that. And this will actually block those from getting installed on the system, which is a really nice feature. So if you do work in that industry, you'll know that sometimes repetitive tasks like installing software does become a bit uh, samey. And this way you can click on uh, one button and it will install all these in one fell swoop. So let's take a look at the actual software itself. Once I open up this folder, this is what you're going to get when you uh, get your piece of software. You can see here an array of files and folders inside here. And there's also a little file, text file here that says software list. So this is the paid version here, as you can see. And this list is pretty extensive. It's, it's pretty big and it's going to be growing with time because they're going to add more stuff in, I should imagine. And if you look down here, you will see chipset drivers, uh, video graphics drivers, uh, storage drivers, audio drivers, and there's also links to these here, okay, so you can download them. So once you've got them downloaded, now if you are a PC repair tech, you will know that you can keep all your software in a folder, keep it up to date, and then you can just generally install this in one click. So let's take a look at the software folder here. This bit is if you want to do a standard install, you can then put all your programs and drivers inside here and this will install them once you click on that. So let me just have a look at the advanced area and do the drag and drop method. So I'm going to click on this and open this up. Now once we've got the program open we've got some options open to us. So you can see here we've got a pretty easy user interface to use. You've got your standard installation and also advanced. There's three ways of installing. You've got a mixture of ways where you can install from the software folder and installing it by drag and drop and it will do both at the same time. Or you can do the standard install mode which installs anything that's inside this folder here inside your uh, one click installer free folder. Or you've got the advanced mode which is a drag and drop method. OK, so let's take a look at the drag and drop method first, because I think that's probably going to be the one that people use more regularly, I would have thought. So you've got your drag and drop feature here. We can see all you need to do here. If you want to drag and drop something in here, let's just say, for instance, you want to do Skype and malware bytes just for argument's sake. We can then just drag those across and then you can see them get listed here and then we can click install and that will start to install those onto our system. Now we can walk away here and come back and they will be installed in the background as you can see, which is a great feature if you are in say PC repair or something like that, you can automatically install all your programs and walk away and get on with another job. You can see how quick that's installed and also you will get a little OK to show you that it's installed OK. It will tell you once the operation's complete, and that is it. It was that quick. We installed Skype and Malwarebytes that fast, and that's impressive. So all we need to do now is click Close, and that's pretty much those two installed. And you can see them on our desktop here. So let's take a look at the other option we've got. So I'm just going to quickly open this up, open the program up again. And what I'm going to do here now is put some files inside here, okay? I'm going to put some files inside the uh, software uh, folder here and I'm going to open up this one here and I'm just going to quickly drag these across so let's just say we want to do these four now I can put these into this software folder and I'm going to leave these other two and I'm going to drag those in and we'll do this top two here and you'll see what it will do if we use the drag and drop method and I drag these two in what that's going to do is 
uh, install these two and what's inside that folder as well so let me just quickly uh, do that now I'm going to open this up so what we're going to do is click on advanced here pull this to the side open up the software folder again now again I did say we can drag in uh, some files here now these are the two we can drag in so what's going to happen when we drag these in this time is if I drag these two in it's going to install the uh, 7-zip and antivirus program and it will also install what is inside here now okay because we've put some programs inside here so it'll install all of these so let's go ahead and do that this time so we can close that off and I'm just going to drag this across here and click install so it's going to start to install the first one which is 7-zip that's okay that's installed it's now going to do GIMP going to do C cleaner and you can see it's done the two now and it's now doing what's inside of this folder here doing Dropbox it's now installing what's inside here inside this uh, software uh, folder here as well you can see so we'll just do Dropbox here and a few others and then we're pretty much done now the standard installation would be just simply ex installing stuff inside this software folder here that's all the standard install is so we're doing a mixture at the moment so there we have uh, a VAS now installed on the system it's now going to run a quick startup scan and that's now installed as you can see here and the operation is now complete we can now close that off so that's basically you can automate all your installation of all your favorite programs driver packs and windows updates my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit the like button and also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos now if you've got any problems with your computers you can always head over to the forums and that's the probably the best place to contact me over there and uh, post all your stuff over there and if you want to uh, go on to my facebook fan page you can always head over there and hit that like button so thanks again and i shall see you again in the next video bye for now